everybody. I'm back. Um, do something I've been thinking about for a little while now. Ever since I started doing movies and everything else on my channel. I have did a lot of my opinions on WWE subjects, but this is a movie subject. Alright. Ghostbusters reboot from 2016. That's what we're going to talk about. I wanted to do this. I've been asked many times. I've had this discussion many times in person and on the internet. Okay. If you've watched any of my movie videos, you know. I love the Ghostbusters. Love it. Got tattoo on my back. Plan on getting more. But, so when the reboot was announced in 2016, I was excited. I didn't care who was in it. I, I was excited. Now, granted, I was as excited as I was for it. I wasn't going to pay to watch it. Has nothing to do with the movie. Just I've paid to watch one remake in my life. And I vowed to never do it again. I like original ideas. Things like that. A reboot, a remake, I'm not putting my money in. I refuse to. That remake I paid to watch was A Nightmare on Elm Street. And I regretted it. <laughs> but it's not the point. We don't have to talk about that. So, I was excited for it. Now. I watched it. It was horrible. It was a horrible movie. Now, Sally, we live in an age of the internet. We live in an age now where, Sally, there are people out there that go out of their way to find something to be offended about. Everything has to be an argument. You know what I mean? You can't have an opinion now unless you're a hater. You're racist, you're sexist, you're homophobic. No. I I don't like that. I miss the days where you can just have an opinion. I love movies. Ghostbusters reboot was horrible. It could have been four guys, four guys, a girl, three monkeys dressed up as penguins. I don't care. The script was terrible. No man of acting could have saved that script. I'm a big Melissa McCarthy fan. I love Melissa McCarthy. Now. I don't mind Kristen Wiig. I don't love her. But I, I don't mind her. Okay. I'm a big Saturday Night Live fan. I've been watching Saturday Night Live my entire life. I like Kate McKinnon is funny. She's not the funniest female on the show. That goes to Cicely Strong. For me, Cicely Strong is the funniest character on the show. She's the funniest actress, whatever you want to call her. Comedian. There we go. She's the funniest on the show. Leslie Jones, I'm not a fan. In my opinion, Leslie Jones is the third least funniest cast member of all time. She's not the least funniest. There's two people ahead of her for that. If you want to know who it is, ask and I'll let you know who the other two are. But, so... It has nothing to do with the cast. I'm tired of it. I've said this, like I said, I've had this conversation on the internet many times before. I, said, I didn't like the movie. And I'm automatically accused, oh, because it's women. And No. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of having the argument. Can't we just have an opinion without it being a hidden agenda? I, I found it, like, the original Ghostbusters had action. It had some comedy in it, of course, because look who the cast was. You're going to have some comedy. But the remake went for flat-out comedy. Straight comedy, like slapstick stuff. And I couldn't begin to tell you how many scenes there were of just them trying out a new invention. Like, one scene would have been enough. That's it. One scene. But it was over and over again. I... I remember the director of the movie said, with all the backlash, he refuses to make a sequel. I'm sorry, but that's not really a threat if no one liked your movie to begin with. It was bad. Um, I, I was extremely disappointed because I did have high hopes for it. Because it's Ghostbusters. They had a good cast. 
that's what I wanted to say. I'm tired of this argument. Now, I'm not saying there's nobody out there that hates the movie simply because it's women. Because there probably are some people out there that feel that way. But every single person I've ever personally talked to had nothing to do with the women. It doesn't matter. I want to be able to have a conversation with you, 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 even you back there. If you want to voice your opinion to me about something like a TV show, something, I'm not going to assume there's some hidden agenda. You hate it because of this. Trust me, I put up the same thing with wrestling fans. Oh my. Or even hockey fans. It's just terrible. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I don't like... I'm going to use Roman Reigns as an example. Because I love wrestling. You guys all know this. I don't like Roman Reigns. Oh, you're just jealous. No. Wouldn't I be jealous of every single wrestler in the world? If that's the case? It doesn't make sense. To be perfectly honest, when people say that to me, like, Oh, you're just jealous. You're a hater. I picture my 10-year-old daughter's age group. That's what you sound like. You sound like a child. Just because someone has a different opinion does not mean they're jealous. Doesn't mean they're a hater. It just means they don't like something. We are all different. You know how boring this world would be if we all agreed on everything all the time? That's my feeling on the Ghostbusters movie. I went in it with such high hopes because I love them. I got excited when it first showed the Ecto-1 car again. Like, I I love the logo. That's what I have on my back, the logo. But, it has nothing to do with Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, Kate McKinnon, or Kristen Wiig. It's not their fault. You can only do so much with that kind of script. That script is all kinds of bad. Like, I have no idea how that script got approved. It baffles me to this day. So when they announced the fact that there's going to be another Ghostbusters movie that's going to completely ignore this one. it's going to, I guess it's going to be a direct sequel to Ghostbusters 2. I got excited. I can't wait for it. I don't know anything about it, but I'm excited. You see? I don't even know who's in it yet. It could be three monkeys dressed up as penguins. I don't care. I'm going to watch it. It has nothing to do with the fact it's women. I wish people would stop. You're finding something to be offended about. You're finding something to start an argument. That's all it is. That's all you're doing. I honestly wonder how those people can go through life always wanting to be offended by something. It baffles me too. Just enjoy it. If you like the movie, fine. I am not judging you because you like it. Why judge me because I don't? Think about that. Alright, I really want to know what everybody thought of the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. And it did have a great cast. The cast was tremendous. But, like I said, you can't get over a bad script. Nothing's going to fix something like that. That was bad. That was all kinds of bad. That's my thought on it. High hopes. Extremely let down. Looking forward to supposed to have another one in a couple of years. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. Did you pay to go watch it? Did you like it? If you did, that's fine. I am happy for you if you liked it. Remember to like, dislike. Just don't be mad at me for my opinions. That's all I ask. It was a bad movie. I probably like movies you hated. So, as usual, everybody, thank you for watching, my little geeks.